okay, I you wrote everything out in black so that you can see it properly. That I said we needed crimping too. I showed us what I'm like crimping to this. We need we need the uh, insulter. I showed us what insulter is. A cable tester, a land tester, a, a cable, cable cutter, land tester, set of screws, and multiple uh, multimeter. These are the things that a, a, a network engineer should easily just have and uh, have in his bag. But um, in today's um, session, we are going to talk about preparing a straight through cable. And I, and I want to show us what an Ethernet cable looks like. This is a CAT6. Um, indoor cable and you can see this particular cable both ends both ends will be stripped um, and we strip both ends now, you can see that the cable has, let me show us, it has four colors. We have a brown, we have green, we have orange, and we have blue. Each of these colors have their white member, that's why it's called a twisted pair cable. They are twisted together. You can see that the blue has a blue and it's white. You can also see that the brown has the brown and its own white. The green has a green and it's the thick color green and it's white. We also have the orange, the thick color orange and it's white. There's also a center member to the center member is there in case if you want to draw this cable through a conduit. You can tie it so whatever you are using to draw, instead of drawing the cables, you use the center member in drawing the cable through a conduit. While this twine that is here is used to strip the cable, in case you want a longer version, you can use it to strip the cable. But because we are preparing a straight through cable, we really don't need this anymore. But before we go into that, I would like to show us since I have I have shown you all the colors, let me explain how to terminate the cable in the board. You can pause the video. Let's explain that. Okay, now let's look at the straight through cable collection. In collecting or terminating the straight through cable, the IEEE gave us a standard that um, everybody should use. But um, because in the market out there, a lot of people do a lot of um, things. But there is a standard that we all use to connect. So we have to follow the standard. And there are two types of cable termination. We have the type A, and we have the type B. I'm going to explain everything to us in details. For the type A, or rather, in the ROJ45 connector, in this ROJ45 connector, let me bring it closer to the viewers to see, you will see this particular teeth. All the cables are supposed to be arranged according to the standard. The very extreme teeth on your left hand side is the most significant bit. It is referred to as point one. Point one. It actually has eight lines. So that's what we are actually trying to arrange here. For, so now let's say that this colon is for point, and let's say point one. In point one, the standard says point one, insert orange white in that place. Then for point two, arrange orange, orange, the thick color orange there. For point three, you will put them um, green white in that slot, and in point four, you will arrange the thick color blue in there. For type five, for point five, you put blue white, 
and point six, you use the green. Seven is brown white, and eight is brown. But for the type B, it's another way around. Sorry, brown, white, in seven. For the type B, point one, they said it should be green, white, two, green, three, orange, white, four, orange, sorry, four, blue, five, blue, white, six, orange, seven, brown, white, and eight, brown. Now let me quickly explain what these points are for. It is also clear that pin one, I call it points, but you can refer to it as pin. Pin one and two, pin one and two is for transmit, Why pin three and pin six, sorry, pin three and six is for receive. Pin four and five is for token ring. Let me write out for that color. It's for token, oh, it's too faint. Okay. Pin four and five is for token ring networking, which is actually fading out. And pin seven and eight is power. We use the lot when we want to when we want to send equipment to a mast. So we use them um, uh, uh, stuff like this, a POE, to inject a power injector to inject power into the Ethernet end cable. You can see this is the POE. There are different types of POE, but that's not what I'm talking about now. But you actually use it to inject. You see that you have where you inject the power into a DC power. And you also have the point where you connect the cable that is going to the equipment that's on the mast on, which is the power over internet um, section. And this is where you connect to your LAN, maybe your switch or your or your um, laptop. Like you can also see in this place, we have another one. Okay, we have this one is actually powering a device as we speak in the mast, a device that we are using for another lecture. But you can also see this other type of PO is a power injector. The power goes into this section, and that the one connected to the laptop or the switch goes to this section. When I'm when I am teaching the advanced class, I will go really deep into this. But haven't said that that is for power to power such a devices. Then for type B, there is a, it's a different ball game. They said green, white, green, orange, white, blue, and then. Um, Blue, white, orange, brown, white, brown. Why we have different types is, I think in Nigeria or Africa as a whole, the, the type matters in preparing our cable. The law says <clears throat> that in order to prepare a straight, a straight through cable, make both ends type A. Make both ends type A. Why a crossover cable make one end type A? and the other end type B. So I have already stripped this cable, so I just want to arrange it for us to see. But before, if you want to arrange a cable like this, it will be clumsy. So most times, you will cut. You have to cut off this center member. So I'm cutting off the center member now. And, and the other cable I cut it off. Now I now have the cable all twisted and loose. So now it says to prepare a straight through cable, make both sides a type A. So we are going to make um okay, let's make um, a part. I wanted a long cable anyway. So okay, we have two cables. Let's make this whole cable a straight through cable. So I take this guy and I say, okay, the law says pin one. 
should be orange white which I have done you will straighten you straighten it after straightening it then pin 2 you add it to it and straighten it and this is how you place your fingers over the cables try as much as possible to arrange them in this format the second the third actually says green white so you place green white on it all being arranged in a straight line you can see all being arranged in a straight line then you take the other one the green and keep it aside and bring the blue it says blue white is a fourth blue white you can see orange white orange green white blue then you add blue white to it too you can also see all i'm trying to put them in a straight line orange white orange green white blue blue white before you bring in your green it's not too straight but i'm trying to straighten my fingers okay okay we now have that then the next thing is your brown white add your brown white to it you can see before i include my brown you can see that they are all straight now then at this stage now you can either use your crimping tool to cut it very straight but not too long so that part of this part of this will enter into the switch but everything must be terminated so now that you have something like this hold it firm and go for either your cutter in this case let me use the cutter at the other end i'll use the crimping tool but use your cutter to cut it very straight you can see very straight but not too long you can see the distance i'm giving so when you cut it off you now have a perfectly straight or almost a perfectly straight line but all in all the colors are still arranged the way i want it to be arranged then take note of how i'm going to place my ROJ. let me take the ROJ. okay good now you have the ROJ. look at the ROJ has two sides there is a side where the knob uh, is coming down this is the knob and there is a side that is up this is how you place your ROJ. you just go straight like this make sure that you are facing it the knob the, the part the side uh, the side that the knob is is actually facing the other end if you miss it you would you would uh, damage the whole thing so when you take it inside ensure that you can squeeze in this coat properly as you are squeezing it in the cable is driving into it you can see that the cable is driving into it as you are squeezing it in so when you take it in the the reason why we are taking this time to i'm um, taking this time to explain it is that immediately you crimp this and you crimp it wrongly this connector is gone that's why it's re disposable that's when it becomes a disposable item because immediately you, you crimp it and you got it wrong you have wasted this item you understand so after fixing it the next thing you will do is to check the transparent sides what are you looking out for you ensure that the, the, the cable pass through to the extreme end can you see it i don't know if i'm if it's that close or if you can see it properly you can see the orange white coming to the extreme end you can see the teeth hanging on top waiting for it waiting for this cable to be insert and to be crimped then go to the other end you'll see the brown this one is quite clear you can see that the brown has passed through and just the teeth is hanging on top waiting for it to be crimped when you see your your line your brown at this extreme end it means that all your cables have gone to the extreme end that's the essence of pushing it with the coats together when you push it with the coats together the coat enters in why this knob is there is to hold on to the coat so that this cable will last or look look more like something like this you can see that this has the coat inside you can see the blue coat but most times people um, crimp it and the coat is outside if the coat is outside the cable will damage on time so now having done that let's crimp now to crimp it is another um, exercise entirely this is the crimping tool but you can look at where the teeth is never take the cable through where the teeth is you will damage the, the connector take it through the other side and let it come out at the end where the teeth is but take note take note while i'm taking it through you can also see this is the side that is going through 
that's the side that is going through, you can see that the knob here is to pierce this knob. There's a knob there that will be actually pierce the cable. So what you will do is to turn it around. Now this time, let your knob now be up. This your knob be upward. You can see the groove where that knob is supposed to go into. So you take it through that groove. Excuse me. Now, all this while, it is the body of the cable you are holding. Because you have not crimped it, this thing can easily slide off. So all this while, you are holding the body of it. When you are now sure that it has gotten to this other end, then you will now crimp. You can see that the crimping tool is piercing the teeth into the cable. Press very hard for it to go through. Then you look, take a look at it. If you look at it now, you now find out that the, the, the teeth now is now piercing the cable. It's transparent. You can see that the teeth are piercing the cable. You have just done one side. Now let's quickly do the other side. You can pause the video, let me do the other side. Okay, you can see I have actually prepared both sides to be type A. Those are the two sides that I've prepared. So now let's test the cable. To test the cable, we'll come again with our cable tester. Connect both sides to it and click on it or put on the button. You can see that both lines are showing properly. Our six is blinking, so this cable has to be recreated. But that's the essence of it all. Our six either will recrimp it, or you can see that six is missing out. It means that the point P, uh, the point green, or rather the, the color green, was not properly inserted. With this now, this cable cannot work because you have to ensure that one, two, three, and six is blinking. That's what it uses for communication. One, two, three, and six. When we are making a cable, using one cable to make two straight cable, you understand what I'm talking about. So you have to ensure that one, two, three, and six is blinking. So because this is not blinking, we have to recrimp this cable. Can you pause, please pause? Let me recrimp it. Yeah. So we've been able to do it, and then um, can find out now that everything is blinking the way it should blink. So with that now, you can now say you have a straight true cable. Now, I will end this. Maybe we will force it so that I can bring another cable and let's um, create a crossover cable. Now, as you can see, this one, I've already stripped it and then um, I want to take out their center members. I'm taking out their center members so that I will have space. Now that I have space, now the rule says make one side a type B and make the other side a type A. So we are going to start with the type B first. So what we do, the type B says at pin 1 make it um, all green white. So I'm going to start arranging it. I'm going to start arranging it. This is green one, P1, and I am trying to straighten them. You can see the way I'm arranging it. I'm trying so hard to make sure that we are able to get it, get it because it's quite tiny. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Okay. So, so I untie the orange now and arrange it to the third position. Then I go for the green, the blue. I lose it. You can see the way I'm doing it. Trying to straighten them because they are coily. And I arrange both of them as five and four and five. Then I bring the orange. I arrange it too along the lines to make it uh, align with it. Then I untie the brown. And I bring brown white here. And I bring brown here. I try to straighten all of them. After straightening it, I will now give the reasonable distance. Reasonable distance. I'm cutting it now. After giving it a reasonable distance. Oh. 
Okay. As usual, I'm placing my ROJ and pressing it inside to go firmly into it. Now I before I crimp, I'm going to look at both sides. This side 